Hello there guys and welcome to a whole new series uh, of programming tutorials. This is going to be a Java GUI programming tutorials. And don't worry about it, uh, our C++ uh, tutorials uh, are going to continue. Uh, and then, but uh, I thought this would be a little bit uh, better because it's GUI programming and it's a little bit more interactive. So for our first tutorial, for this tutorial, all we'll do is we're going to go ahead and install the Java compiler. So first, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to our let's go in the command line and you guys well I've already installed the compiler but if you guys go ahead and type Java C uh, in my case you will see um, a lot of options here because I've already installed the compiler but in your case you should be able you probably gonna see not found or you not you should not see anything listed because you have you haven't installed the compiler so that's what we're gonna do in this tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and install the Java compiler, the Java development kit, uh, and the Java runtime environment. So let's go ahead and go ahead and open Mozilla Firefox, or Internet Explorer, or whatever, or or Chrome, and then go to Google and let's go ahead and type Oracle. Since Oracle, well, and then we're gonna go on downloads. Uh, well, uh, I will also provide a link on the, on the description, so if you don't, uh, uh, you can go ahead and check. You can click on uh, directly on the link, and it will take you directly to the to this page. And then on the right side here, we're gonna click on Java SE, stand, uh, which stands for Java Standard Edition. And we're gonna click on Java here. As we see down here, we see the Java Development Kit, the Java Runtime Environment. Go ahead and click that. Make sure to accept the license uh, agreement, if, and then. Go ahead and select the appropriate OS. Uh, in my case, I have Windows 7 64 bit. Um, so go ahead and download that. And since I've already uh, downloaded and installed it, guys, uh, you can go ahead and pause the video right here and go ahead and download this uh, and install it. And once you have done so, uh, resume the video. And so, okay, once so, since you have installed it now, I'm gonna ahead and minimize this. What we will do is Go ahead and on my computer, go to our C drive, go to our program files, and let's go ahead and locate Java, the Java directory or Java folder here. Then make sure to click on the Java JDK 1.6 or 1.7 or whatever you have, which is 1.6 I believe. And then click on the bin folder or directory. And then you can right click on any of this. I'm gonna right click on the APT here, go to properties, because we need to copy the location here in order to specify the path for of, of our compiler in, in, in to the command line okay so we're gonna copy that the location then hit cancel and let's close that then we're gonna go to our computer right click go to properties go to advanced system settings and you see down here uh, environment variables uh, we're gonna go right ahead and go on environment variables and we're gonna add a new variable we're gonna all you have to do is type path and then paste the location which we copied since I've done that already I'll hit cancel but you can see here that I have it and then make sure to hit OK OK there and then now let's go ahead back to our command line now if you guys type Java C again you uh, now you should be able to see the same thing that I'm I'm seeing all these all these options here so that means that your compiler, your Java compiler has been installed and is ready to be used. So in our next tutorial, we're going to, well, for our GUI tutorials, we're going to actually use the IDE, an integrated development environment. Uh, well, and in, our, in my case, I'm going to use Eclipse, but I'm going to list a couple of IDEs that you guys could use. But in our next tutorial, we're going to use Notepad and the command line to actually compile our first Hello World, just like always, Java tutorial. And that one's not going to be a GUI tutorial, but everything else uh, after that is going to be a GUI tutorial. So... Please check out all my other videos guys and if you have any concerns or questions please leave a comment or send me a message and once again thank you for watching my videos and subscribing. Thank you guys.